So, uh, last class we have derived that plane wave uh, plane wave equation which is we have derived that plane wave equation divergence square of pressure acoustic pressure is nothing but a 1 by c square del square d square or you can write del square p by del t square. This is the plane wave linear wave equation we call linear wave equation. Now, interesting property we should know that we, we know that the velocity we, we said called the velocity potential. What is velocity potential? <coughs> the in, interesting thing is that if you know that the curl of a gradient function any function if I take the gradient of the function and then take the curl is equal to 0 that is the mathematical proof the curl of a gradient function is equal to 0. Now, if you if you remember that we have derived that equation where that particular velocity rho 0 del u by del t is equal to minus p that we derived rho 0 del u by del t is equal to minus divergent of acoustic pressure. Now, if I take the curl in both side. So, I take the curl in both side, then I said curl of a divergent function is equal to 0. So, that means, this is equal to 0. Okay. So, if it is this equal to 0, that this implies that the curl of u velocity, curl of particle velocity is equal to 0. So, if the particle velocity is u and that curl is equal to 0, what is the meaning, physical meaning of this thing? What is curl of a velocity? Curl means, curl of a velocity means that particle velocity does not have any angular motion. There is a no curl. If you know that, what is the divergent? Divergent means how it is diverted. What is the curl? Curl is the rotational things. So, curl of u is equal to 0. That means, we are considering in linear wave equation, there is a no particle velocity in angular direction. So, there is a no angular velocity in the particle velocity, only the linear velocity exists in particle velocity. So, if I say the particle velocity is nothing but a, it can be expressed in a Kellogg's function. So, I said u is nothing but a divergent of phi, because particle velocity is in all direction, but it does not have any angular motion. So, the u is nothing but a divergent of a scalar function, this phi is called velocity potential, this phi is called velocity potential. Okay. Now, if u is equal to divergent of phi, then what should be my equation? My equation is then rho 0 So, what is there? So, I rho 0 rho 0 del u by del t is equal to minus p. So, it is nothing but a rho 0 del u by del t plus divergent of acoustic pressure is equal to 0. Okay. So, what is rho 0? So, if I say the I can take the divergent out or I can say the what is u, u is nothing but a divergent of velocity potential. So, I put it rho 0 del divergent phi del t plus divergent p is equal to 0. Okay. So, in that case if I take the divergent out, it is nothing but a rho 0 del phi by del t plus p is equal to 0. If this function is equal to 0, divergent of a sum function is equal to the 0, that means that rho 0 del phi by del t plus p is equal to 0. Okay. So, rho 0 del phi by del t is equal to minus p. So, the velocity potential rho 0 del phi by del t is equal to minus p. This will be a used in 
wave equation. That is why I said the phi is the velocity potential and that will be is equal to type del rho 0 del phi by del t is equal to minus p. Now, what is c? If you see that uh, velocity of the sound is it depends on temperature? Velocity of sound, how it is dependency of the velocity of sound? So, I say bulk modulus b is equal to rho 0 del p by del rho sorry at rho 0. Okay. So, it is nothing but a gamma p 0 total pressure is nothing but a rho 0 c square. Okay. So, what is c square? c square is nothing but a gamma p 0 divided by rho 0. Okay. Now, you know the p is equal to what is p is equal to rho r t k gas equation from the gas equation r is the gas constant, rho is the density, t is the temperature in Kelvin. Okay. So, if you see sorry. Okay. So, now in that case, so if I see that if I put the p value in here, so it is nothing but a gamma rho 0 r t divided by rho 0. So, it is nothing but a gamma r t. So, in case of t, so t depending on the t, c is varies. So, the velocity of the sound depends on the temperature. If the temperature change, velocity of the sound will be changed. Now, we go for the, so we have derived the linear wave equation, we have know that velocity potential, we know that temper sound, the, the speed of the sound is change with temperature. Then, we have to know how the that plane wave is propagated in the medium. So, that is called harmonic plane wave, harmonic plane wave. How the plane wave is propagated in the medium? We know the equation, but how it is propagated that we have to describe. So, now we go for harmonic plane wave propagation. How to how to find out what should be the equation of the p if it is propagated in a media. So, now we have derived the equation of p and u and we have described how the harmonic plane wave is propagated in a medium. In harmonic plane wave, the characteristics of the harmonic plane wave is that a plane wave is that each acoustic variable has a constant amplitude and phase on any plane perpendicular to the direction of the propagation. What is the meaning? If I say the wave is propagated along the x axis, so perpendicular to the x axis let us the z axis. So, in the z axis all the acoustic variable of that plane wave are constant amplitude. So, that is the meaning. That means, if the wave is propagated along the x axis perpendicular to the x axis in the z axis. So, in the z axis all the acoustic properties, all the acoustic variable of that plane wave will be remain constant. The practical example is that if you throw a stone in a pond, you find that the wave is generated. Let the what the wave propagation? Propagation is along the plane of the water and towards that towards the end of that uh, to the towards the land. So, the wave is propagated like this way. Okay. Now, what is the perpendicular that the wave? Perpendicular is the z direction. So, in perpendicular direction at any point the acoustic variable of all that exist in that propagation wave have a constant amplitude that is the properties of plane wave. Now, we know that what is the plane wave equation we know del square p is nothing but a 1 by c square del square del square p by del t square. Okay. So, this is the plane wave equation. So, this is a second order differential equation where p is a function of p is a function of x, y, z and t. So, that means, p is a function of position and time. So, when a plane wave is propagated, it is free to propagate it in any direction in that suppose this room I create an acoustic sound. So, this sound can propagate in any direction of this room 
So, it, if it is any direction, so it is x, y and z any direction it can propagate and once it propagates, it has to be respect to the time. Okay. So, the pressure wave has a function of x, y, z and t. Let us that my propagation, the plane wave propagated along the x axis only. Let us there is a no propagation in z and y axis. So, if the plane wave propagated along the x axis only, so p is a function of x and t only is a function of x and t only. So, in that case this becomes del square p by del x square is equal to 1 by c square del square p by del t square. So, this is a second order differential equation. Now, what are the solution of the differential equation? I have to find out the solution of the differential equation. What are the solution? The solution will be in the form of p is equal to a e to the power you know that second order differential equation the solution will be e to the power j omega t minus k x plus b e to the power j omega t plus k x. Okay. So, here one solution is omega t minus k x another is omega t plus k x. What is the meaning of this thing? Meaning is that when a wave is propagated, there is a called forward wave and there is a called backward wave. So, it is forward wave. So, along the x axis, if it is forward wave, then I write minus k x. If it is backward wave, I write plus k x. What is k? k is nothing but a wave number. So, what is the wave number? Wave number is nothing but a omega by c. c is the velocity of the sound, omega is the frequency. Okay. So, wave number into x is the total distance travelled by the wave, wave number into x total distance travelled by the x. So, if it is a forward wave, then it is plus a minus, if it is a backward wave, then it is plus. So, distance forward wave means is distance is covered, and backward means distance to be covered. So, that is why minus k x plus k x. So, one is forward wave, another is backward wave, and k is the wave number omega by c. So, c is the velocity of the sound, omega is the frequency of the sound. Now, you know that one of the equation of the wave is, so this is the p. Now, wh what I have to know? If this is my p, what is u? I have to derive particle velocity. If this is the pressure wave equation, then what is the equation of the velocity wave? So, if I say that this is the p, then what is the relation of the p and u? Rho 0 del u by del t is equal to minus divergence of p, minus divergence of p. Now, you know del by del t is we use as a this is written as a j omega, because that sound entire sound field is varying with the e to the power j omega t. So, what is the d by d t is nothing but a j omega, because if I take the derivative it only create the j omega. So, this convention I will use many of the cases. So, differentiation means it has to multiply by the j omega. So, in that case if I write, so this is nothing but a since I have only x direction. So, this is divergent means I have only x direction. So, it is d p by d x and it is nothing but a u into j omega d by d t j omega. So, it is rho 0 u j omega is equal to minus d p by d x. So, what is d p by d x? If this is p, what is d p by d x differentiation against x. So, it is nothing but a a j k minus e to the power j omega t minus k x plus b j k e to the power j omega t plus k x okay or not. I think the simple differentiation of this equation. So, now, I put this value in here. 
So, actually u is nothing but a 1 by rho 0 j omega into this function. So, it is minus a minus a j uh, so that will be minus minus sign is there. So, minus this into minus this into a j k e to the power j omega t minus k x plus b j k e to the power j omega t plus k x. Okay. Now, what is k? k is nothing but a omega by c. So, instead of k, I will write omega by c instead of k, I will write omega by c. Now, j will be cancelled, all j will be cancelled. So, it is nothing but a minus minus plus. So, it is a omega 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 will be cancelled. So, a by rho c omega and omega will be cancelled minus minus a plus a by rho c e to the power j omega t minus k x plus b by same rho c this will be not plus this will be minus because this minus will be created minus minus b by rho c e to the power j omega t plus k x. Okay. So, that means u is nothing but a, a 1 by rho c if I take out. So, it is nothing but a a e to the power j omega t minus k x minus b e to the power j omega t plus k x. Okay. So, by 1, 1 by rho c. So, if I know the p, I know the u. So, this is the u. Now, forget about s. What is phi? Phi is the velocity potential. I said phi is the velocity potential. So, rho 0 rho 0 del phi by del t is equal to p minus sorry minus p. Okay. So, phi is nothing but a rho 0 j omega phi is equal to minus p. So, phi is minus p by j omega rho 0 and p is plus minus I am writing p is plus minus instead of forward wave backward wave I write plus minus plus means backward wave minus means forward wave plus minus. So, it is nothing but a phi is plus p by j omega rho 0. Okay. So, this is the relation between the u phi and p those will be used in deriving that solution. Now, what is the plane wave equation? Is this is the plane wave equation? Okay. Now, in case of arbitrary direction, if I consider the plane wave propagated in arbitrary direction, in that case, the solution of p will be not in only x direction. So, it is x, y, and z direction. So, it is nothing but a, a e to the power j omega t minus k x into x minus k y into y minus k z into z. So, I am saying the arbitrary direction is wave is propagated. Okay. So, that the solution will be a only this one forward, backward, x direction, y direction, z direction all arbitrary direction is propagated. So, it is e to the power j omega t minus k x x minus k y y minus k z z. Okay. So, this is the propagation equals p, p is equal to this only. Now, if I put this solution in this equation, what I will get? I will get, I put this solution in this equation. So, p, what, what do you mean by del square p is nothing but a d 2 p by d x square plus d 2 p by d y square plus d 2 p by d z square. Okay. If I take this, I will get omega by c whole square is nothing but a k x square sorry. k x square plus k y square 
plus kz square. Okay. So, I said that if I put this a value in this equation, I will get omega y c whole square is equal to k x square k y square k z square. That means, as if k x square plus k y square plus k z square root over is equal to nothing but a omega by c. Okay. So, if I consider let us I have an wave, I have an acoustics wave and which propagation propagation vector. So, I have an acoustics wave in all three direction, okay. all three direction let us this is y direction, this is x direction, this is z direction. So, let us the wave is propagated in this field. So, I have a three direction, y direction and x y plane, x direction and y direction. Okay. So, a propagation vector is here which is k. Okay. So, in propagation vector has an amplitude as if in this room I have a point in here. So, from one corner if this corner is origin, origin to here has an amplitude and has an angle with x axis, y axis and z axis. So, propagation vector this k has an angle with z axis, has an angle with y axis, has an angle with x axis. Okay. So, if I put that let us if I put this thing. So, I have an angle with z axis, I have an angle with x axis, I this has an angle with y axis. So, that 3 axis I have an angle. So, let us the angles are beta, let us alpha, gamma. Okay. So, what is the amplitude of k? Amplitude is nothing but a root over of k x square plus k y square plus k z square. Those are the point distance from z axis is k z. If I take a projection in here, so distance from this point in here is k x and here is k y. Okay. So, amplitude is this, this is nothing but a omega by c we have already proved. So, it has an amplitude and has an position x y z. So, I can write the point k is nothing but an amplitude k, amplitude k and a position vector r and a position vector r, r is the position vector. Okay. So, r has an position vector. So, r has an x position, x direction, x position, y direction, y position, if x, y, z and z direction, z position. Okay. So, amplitude anyway, this is the coordinating system, this is the presentation, amplitude and the position is the k, k is written like that way. So, I can write that instead of e to the power minus k x, k y, k z, I can write p is nothing but a a e to the power j omega t minus k into r k x x k y y. So, th that has a position k which is omega by c, this is amplitude is k is nothing but a omega by c into r is a position vector. I write amplitude and position vector. Okay. Now, what is r? If I said that k has an angle with x axis, angle with x axis alpha. So, I can write what is cos alpha, cos alpha nothing but a k x by k. If I have a trigonometric system, if the angle is alpha, this is k and this is k x. So, cos alpha is nothing but a k x by k. Similarly, cos beta is nothing but a k y by k, cos gamma is nothing but a k z by k. Okay. So, I can write instead of k x, k y, k z. So, I can write mod amplitude, mod k is the amplitude. So, it is nothing but a root over of x square plus k x square k x square z square. So, it is nothing but a k into cos square alpha. 
So, it is k into cos k square cos square alpha plus k square cos square beta plus k square sin square uh, cos square gamma. Okay. So, it is nothing but a k into root over of cos square alpha cos square beta cos square gamma. Okay. So, now if I say k into r is the wave vector, vector directional wave, wave this is a wave, wave, this is called propagation vector. So, this propagation vector is equal to constant. Characteristics of the plane wave says that that perpendicular direction to the propagation is nothing but a constant phase. So, k, k into r is constant. So, if it is constant, then let us consider a situation, consider a situation where let us say my plane wave, plane wave surface is parallel to z axis. Surface of the plane wave is parallel to the z axis. That means, the plane wave is propagated along the x y plane. So, if we throw a stone to the pond, so a whole water level is the x y plane, x y plane, how it is propagated? The surface constant of that wave is perpendicular to the z axis. So, if this is the pond, if this is the pond uh, water level, then the, uh, the, uh, the wave propagation is a perpendicular, the surface constant of that wave is perpendicular to the Perpendicular to, perpendicular to the x y plane. So, it is nothing but a parallel to z axis. So, let us plane wave whose surface constant are parallel to z axis that constant. So, that means, plane wave is propagated along the x y plane. So, there is no propagation in z direction. So, in that case p is nothing but a a e to the power j omega t minus k x x minus k y y z direction there is no propagation. Okay. So, parallel to the z axis surface constant is parallel to the z axis. Okay. Now, in that case what is the this is k x x q y y. Okay. So, I said that k dot r should be a constant. So, that means minus k x x or k x x plus k y y k y y which is nothing but a k dot r propagation vector is equal to constant equal to constant ok constant. So, in that case what is k y y is nothing but a minus k x x plus constant let us see. So, it is nothing but a y is nothing but a minus k x by k y into x plus c. See the a equation y equal to m x plus c is the equation of a straight line. What is m? m is nothing but a tangent that is the oblique oblique angle on the x y plane angle. So, if I have a this equation that means, if I have a straight line like this. So, this is the angle is m, m is represent the angle slope. So, in that case I can write that wave is propagated along the x y plane with a angle k x y k y. So, wave is propagated in, in real life situation if I throw a stone to the pond wave is propagated like this x y this, this is x y plane, okay. but it is not necessary that without any angle wave is propagated in that x y plane with a angle which is defined by k x by k y and wave surface is always if I cut the wave, so wave surface is always perpendicular to the z axis. We said, so wave is propagated along the x y plane with a angle k x by k y. So, now if I if I draw the pictures, I cannot draw the three dimensional pictures. Let us this is my x y plane. This plane is this board, this 
blackboard is an xy plane so this is x x axis this is y axis so this plane is xy plane so wave is propagated along the xy plane okay with the angle which is defined by so this is the propagation wave propagation plus this is the wave propagation with the angle which is phi phi is not tan phi is nothing but a minus kx by ky okay so with the angle phi so i can write that this cos phi is nothing but a what is cos phi cos phi is or, or i can write kx is nothing but a k cos phi is this angle phi so this x axis projection is k cos phi and what is y axis projection ky is nothing but a k sin phi okay so whole k k can be written as k is nothing but a k a k cos phi in x direction plus k sin phi in y direction okay so if the what's the equation of this plane wave equation so it is nothing but a p is equal to a e to the power j omega j omega t minus k cos phi x direction k cos phi x direction minus k sin phi y direction so i get the equation of propagation okay so that way we can derive the plane wave propagation equation it may be xy plane it may be yz plane so in that case of yz plane x will be not there so we are discussing about the plane wave propagation and we derive the expression of the plane wave propagation equation okay now uh, we have to know how, uh, how to calculate the energy of the plane wave propagation okay so energy energy for the plane wave propagations so you know that let's consider that a plane wave propagated along the x axis okay so along the x axis so propagation pressure equation p is equal to pressure amplitude e to the power j omega t minus kx this is the propagation pressure equation okay now for that so we have to derive that energy now if i consider how the plane wave is propagated now if, if when the wave is propagated it is nothing but a uh, the uh, when the pressure wave is propagated through a media how the energy is transferred so let's consider a small volume on the propagation field v0 v which is v0 okay so you know that it is compressed and decompressed so the energy so the, this the when the wave is propagated this volume will be compressed and the volume will be expand okay so any compression and expansion has a potential energy okay so that creates the potential energy which is ek Oh, sorry ep similarly when the wave is propagated through a media the particle has a velocity so that create an kinetic energy ek so the total energy in a plane wave propagation e is nothing but a kinetic energy plus potential energy okay now we have to derive the expression for the kinetic energy and potential energy now if you know you know that that what is kinetic energy ek if the volume velocity is u the particle velocity sorry particle velocity is u then or volume velocity volume sorry volume velocity is u then kinetic energy is nothing but a half m v square half u square okay now if i consider that the small volume v0 on that propagation plane that this is the vo small volume v0 so v0 will be compressed if it is compressed some potential energy will be stored if it is decompressed potential energy will be released so this is the kinetic energy so the potential energy ep is nothing but a change of volume less that uh, where it is v0 is initial volume v0 to v change of volume due to the pressure applied on that volume p tv and this is negative sign indicate that the energy 
is if that the, 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 if the see if, if the volume is compressed then the force is acting on that volume the, the pressure divided by pressure into unitary area is the force cross sectional area so force is acting on the volume and volume is decreased so the decrease the if, if, even the force is increased the volume is decreased so direction of the <coughs> if the f is increased then volume decreased so what will happen so potential energy will be increased when the volume is decreased so that's why i create a negative sign that change of volume and applied force is in reverse okay so that's why i create a negative that i give a negative sound so due to the change of volume the potential energy will be created so if you see the size slide i sorry negative sign indicate that the potential energy will be increased when its volume is decreased by positive acoustic pressure p okay so now if you remember the pv rho v rho into v is what is nothing but a mass so rho v is nothing but a constant rho v is constant mass is constant now if i take the derivative with respect to d uh, uh, d, d and v so i can write rho into del v plus v into del rho rho into del v plus v into del rho is equal to 0 okay so from here an another equation is bulk modulus b is nothing but a rho 0 del p divided by del rho this is the bulk modulus which is nothing but a b by rho 0 c velocity of the sound c is nothing but a root over of bulk modulus b divided by rho so i can say c square is nothing but a b square by rho 0 b by rho 0 so b by rho 0 is nothing but a c square so i can write that del p by del rho is nothing but a c square okay now if i say if i put that so i can say that del v del v is equal to what del v is equal to minus b del rho del rho divided by rho del rho divided by rho so del rho here i can write del rho del rho is nothing but a 1 by c square into del p so i can write this is nothing but a minus v del p divided by rho 0 rho c square rho c square so i put that things in, in here this equation so it is minus 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 positive so del v i putting the value of del v is the del v is the uh, on this these things so positive minus and minus positive so it is plus so it is nothing but a if it is v0 to v then if i convert to del p by rho c square so it will be 0 to p pressure so 0 to p p into v p into v del p by rho c square so which is nothing but a half of p square by rho 0 c square into v 0 okay so if it is that then what is the total energy so total energy is nothing but a kinetic energy plus potential energy so energy is equal to half m u square plus half p square by rho 0 c square v 0 rho 0 c square v 0 now what is m m is nothing but a rho 0 into v 0 small volume mass of that volume is rho 0 into v 0 so it is half rho 0 into v 0 into u square plus half 
रो पी स्कोर बी स्कोर बो जिरो सी स्कोर इंटू भि जिरो सो आई कैन से बी जिरो इ बी जिरो इज नाथिंग बट ए हाफ लेट्स रो जिरो इज टेक दिस साइड ओके सो इट इज नाथिंग बट ए यू स्कोर प्लस पी स्कोर बै रो स्कोर सी स्कोर यू स्कोर बु स्कोर प्लस पी स्कोर बो स्कोर सी स्कोर ओके सो दिस इज दि जिरो व्हाट इज इ बी जिरो इज नाथिंग बट ए एनार्जी डेंसिटी इन्स्टेंटेनियस एनार्जी डेंसिटी इ E by V zero is instantaneous. This is the instantaneous energy. So in, in energy divided by the volume is nothing but the instantaneous energy density, and it unit will be joule per meter cube. Okay. Now we are not taking the instantaneous energy density. We always take the average energy density. So what is average energy density? I can write average energy density E is nothing but a टाइम एवरेज ऑफ इंस्टेंटेनियस एनर्जी डेंसिटी ओके सो टाइम एवरेज ऑफ इंस्टेंटेनियस एनर्जी डेंसिटी सो दिस दिस इज नथिंग बट ए वन बाई टी जीरो टू टी ई आई टी टी ओके सो व्हाट इज ई आई ई आई इज नथिंग बट ए यू स्क्वायर प्लस पी स्क्वायर बाय रो स्क्वायर सी स्क्वायर Okay, so u square plus p square by r square c square. Now take some consideration. What is relation between the u p? You know the p is nothing but a plus minus r c into u. Pressure is nothing but a plus minus r zero c into u. Okay, now if I say the pressure equation p. Is nothing but a pressure amplitude P plus cos omega t minus k x. Then what is U? Is nothing but a pressure amplitude P by rho zero c cos omega t minus k. X. Okay. Now if I put the two value in here, either a, I can convert either in term of P. Or in term of u, so let's consider in term of p. So it is u square is nothing but a u square is nothing but a p square by p square by rho square c square. So it is nothing but a if I put that value, so it is nothing but a p square plus k plus two is will cancel. So it is nothing but a p square by rho zero c square. So I put the value in here. So the one by t zero to t p square. So p square means p square by rho zero c square. So it is which is nothing but a one by t zero to t pressure amplitude square cos square omega t dt cos square omega t minus k x divided by Rho zero c square dt. Okay, who is Julie? If I take the integration, it will be p square by two rho zero c square. P square by two rho zero c square. So if it is p square by two rho zero c square, is the average energy density. Average energy density. Still, we are not getting the energy, power, and intensity. So, what is energy? This is the average energy density. E. Now, let's consider that. Let's the wave is propagated along this blackboard. So, let's consider a volume with a cross-sectional area A. Okay. So. 
energy density inside the, let's let's consider a pipe okay so you are saying that energy density inside the pipe is nothing but a p square by 2 rho c square so how much energy will be flow in one second so energy density if it is energy density is known then if i multiply the volume of that pipe for one second pipe volume then i can get that energy total energy so let's for dt time if the velocity of the sound is c so length of the pipe will be c into dt within the dt time c into dt length will be covered and if the cross sectional area is a then the volume is a c dt okay and total energy e is nothing but a energy the average energy multiply by that volume is the total energy so what is power power is nothing but a energy per unit time so energy by dt so power is nothing but a e a into c have you understand not see that this uh, uh, board also this uh, the slides so i am saying i am want to find out the energy flow okay for that plane wave propagation so i i find out the expression of the energy density which is p square by 2 rho 0 c now if i know the energy density let's i consider for the dt time how much energy will be flow within this volume which cross sectional area is a so it is nothing but a c dt into a so energy energy density multiply by the volume is nothing but a total energy energy by volume so volume by multiplied now if i get the total energy what is the power energy per unit time so energy divided by dt so it is nothing but a e into ac okay so it is not capital e small e e into average energy density multiply by a into c now what is intensity intensity means the power per unit area so intensity i is nothing but a p by a so if it is p by a then intensity is nothing but a e a c divided by a so a a cancel it is e into c so what is e value p square by 2 rho c square so p square by 2 rho 0 c square into c so it is nothing but a p square by 2 rho 0 c so intensity of the plane wave propagation is nothing but a p square by 2 rho 0 c p square by 2 rho 0 c so intensity if i consider for the plane wave propagation of the sound then always if i know the sound pressure then intensity of the sound is nothing but a p square by 2 rho c and power intensity multiply by the area so that is the power so p square by 2 rho c is the intensity okay next we discuss about the spherical wave propagation and then we consider the how intensity uh, we will be calculate for the spherical wave propagation and what is the difference between the plane wave propagation then intensity in dv then perception of the sound in dv perception of the sound we will talk about and then we complete this chapter okay